Hi everyone, it's Tammy and this is going to be my flip through for the week of January 22nd through 28th and um, it was a pretty good week. Uh, things went pretty well. I uh, didn't do a ton, which is sometimes nice. The weather has been pretty crummy. It's been really chilly and just wet and foggy and damp and just not anything you really want to get outside in. So I'm kind of ready. For, I'm not kind of. I am ready for the weather to change a little bit and at least bring us some sun and a little bit of warmth is nice. And I think that that's coming actually this week. It's supposed to be a little bit sunny today, but so far it's totally overcast and yuck still. But whew, I know that some people have it much, much worse than we do, but I think seasonal depression is a thing for sure. I don't know that I suffer from it, but I can feel it sometimes. And right now I'm kind of feeling it. And I just have a lot on my mind this last week too. So that's why I am putting believe on a lot of things right now because that is my word of the month, but I also, or my word of the year, but I also feel like it is totally something I need to believe and trust and just know that Jesus is with us. God is watching over us. We got this. Um, turn all our worries over to him. And that's easier said than done for me sometimes. And, you know, life gets you, but um, it's all right. It's, I mean, things are, things are going as well as or better than expected for sure. So I just, or not even expected. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. Life is just life. And sometimes it's just harder than other times. And right now this season is a little bit tough, but I have a lot, a lot, a lot to be thankful for. And when I start worrying about something, that's what I do. I start counting my blessings and I pray and I just am very thankful for the things that I have and I know that I have an abundance so that's where I'm at um so anyway we have been watching Gilmore Girls a lot and uh I'm really enjoying that and Chris is watching it too and he's never seen it so it's fun he really likes Luke so that's fun um Monday uh I did some chores um I've been reading The Only One Left that I finished it soon this week. I finished it this week and I'm starting another one, but, and I say reading, but it's an audible book and I have been knitting like crazy, which is fun. I, I do kind of like the wholesome, easy, boring life that I have most of the time. And I like to keep it that way <laughs> most of the time, but I do enjoy my family and my friends and I enjoy doing stuff with them too, but okay, whatever, enough about me. Um, I did finish Hazel's hat. I guess that's where I started with the knitting. I've been knitting a lot and tis the season too for that. And I didn't know that I was going to pick it back up, but I have picked it back up and I have been doing really well with finishing projects too. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pick up things and finish them. So um, I made a hat for Hazel and I was working on her cozy coat. And maybe I'll put some pictures at the end of this so you guys can see some of the things that I've been working on. And let's see, I made pork chops that night for dinner. They were really good. That's not something I cook a lot is pork chops. I don't know, pork in general, really, but uh, pork chops specifically, I don't make them very often, but I found this recipe and it was really good. And I know I need to do Foodie Fridays, but not happening right now. Uh, Tuesday, the weather was so bad. We were, I was supposed to work in the office, but we were told not to come in. And it was kind of a good thing because it was pretty bad up here. It snowed quite a bit. I think we got two or three. I mean, not quite a bit. It snowed a little bit. We got, I don't know, I think it was three to four inches that we got. But it was icy underneath, which is what the thing is with Indiana. You get a lot of ice, which is bad because the weather gets so cold. But it was sl slushy and snowy and yucky. And Katie even had a two-hour delay. And then they ended up canceling class for her. So she didn't have to teach at all or leave um, to go anywhere on Tuesday, which was nice. I did, um, I was able to film a quick and easy card video. I think that's already posted. Uh, it was a hard day that day. Um, I did talk to my son. That was good. I had a dinner date with Chris. We went to a place called Pepe's, which is a nice Mexican place. We took the truck in. It needed a repair. I don't know exactly what, but something and um, I was still reading The Only One Left and I finished her cozy coat and I had a hat called a May hat that I had started years ago and I picked it up as a whip 
which is a work in progress, WIP, and I finished it. So, well, I started, I restarted it this day, but I finished it the next day. So that was great. Um, that's what I've been doing in the evenings. I get finished with work and I knit. I mean, I don't know. There's not a ton that, I mean, like I said, we can't really go outside or anything, but uh, Wednesday, Chris was off. Uh, it was trash day and the litter and all that jazz. I had a coffee chat with Tracy. I finished my the May hat and Chris took the day off because he had a doctor's appointment, had to get some blood work done and everything went really well with that. He brought home Chick-fil-A, which was fabulous. I was able to finish The Only One Left. It was a great book. And I started picking up a shawl that I had. It was another whip. It was called Cowboys and Angels. And I am still working on that. And um, it's a fun knit. And I hadn't gotten very far. And it's, I don't know, I have a few days probably left, if not a week, because there's a lot of stitches to the shawl and it, each row is taking about a half an hour right now. So um, it's not a fast knit for me, but it's fun. And you know, if I have a couple hours at night to work on it, then that's fun for me. I enjoy that. Uh, we went to the China Buffet for dinner that night and we were watching Gilmore Girls. And yeah, that's about that. Oh, and I didn't do the, the doodle of the day. Sorry, doodle of the day for Monday was Bo. And Tuesday, it was Geisha. <laughs> Wednesday, <clears throat> nail polish. And I know it's getting to be the end of the month, and I will do a video with just the doodles, so you can look for that if you're interested. Uh, Thursday is guitar, and um, I, fin I started listening to First Lie Wins. So that was one of... Oh, what's her name? Reese Witherspoon's book club books. And I'm kind of excited about it. I've heard it's really good. So I'm working on that. I made some treats for Katie's class. I took these cheese sticks and I made them look like little snowmen. Maybe I'll try to put a video on or a picture of that too. I don't know if you know if I have one, but um, I found the, I found it on Pinterest. You can look it up. It was real easy. I just took a Sharpie and made, drew a hat and a face and little dots and a scarf. So, I mean, it was cute. Little button dots. Uh, we picked up the truck. It was fixed and it was a little less than we expected. So that was good. Did a little menu planning. Um, it was payday that day. We went to Cheddar's for dinner. It was delicious. And then Friday came. I was able to read to Katie's class. I volunteered there. That was fun. And we picked up Hazel. Uh, the doodle of the day was perfume. We watched a little bit of Gilmore Girls, not very much that night. I actually had uh, Terminex come on Friday. They they do a quarterly thing just to do the perimeter of the house. I really don't know if it does any good in January when the weather's so crummy, but I was afraid to postpone it or I didn't know what to do exactly. So if any of you guys have any ideas on how you guys do pest patrol, if you're in the Midwest, how you handle it, but um, I just let them come as their regularly scheduled appointment, but I'm really not sure. He did say if I see any activity or anything before the next scheduled appointment, I can call and they'll come back out for free. So I figured I can't lose. So I just did that. Hazel got sick on the car right when we pulled into town. She got totally sick, vomited. Oh my goodness. So she came in, got, gave her a bath. We had to clean out the car. It was crazy. And we had picked up dinner. Um, luckily, we picked up Fazoli's, which is an Italian place. And we got some spaghetti and some lasagna, I think, and then some breadsticks. Luckily, the breadsticks were good and Hazel enjoyed them so she could eat that because I don't think her stomach was up for much of anything else. So she just had some bread for dinner pretty much. And then the next morning, we thought, well, we'll get up and we'll go to breakfast. And we did go to breakfast, but the place was closed. So we ended up, we I had some snacks and stuff for her and some fruit. So she ate some of that. And then we ended up going to Walmart, which I don't like Walmart on a normal day. I really don't like to go on a weekend day, but it actually turned out all right. It wasn't too busy and we got a few groceries. Chris actually got um, turkey to smoke and I bought a new set of pajamas that were really nice thanks to Tracy's recommendation I, I looked I didn't know what kind she had gotten but it turned out that we I ended up getting the same brand because she told me about them and they she said they were really nice and 
they weren't expensive at all. And I wouldn't have even looked had she not said anything, but I found a pair that I liked and it ended up being the same brand, which was pretty cool. And then um, we went to Mexican for lunch that day and Hazel had cheese dip and she was a happy girl and she wasn't sick. I don't know what, something just didn't settle in her stomach. I made white chicken chili that night for dinner and Hazel fell asleep on Chris. It was so cute. And she has just been loving her pop pop. So I made a note of that just because she just loves being around him and has so much fun. They just tease and she's really good at like, even her sense of humor is, I think, advanced for a two year old. She's just, she's got a sense of humor and she likes to tease him and it's really cute. Uh, so there's that, and I'm still working on the Cowboys and, and Angels Shaw. I gave Hazel her little hat, and she loved it, so that was fun. She even she took it to her mom's house yesterday. She didn't want to leave it at our house, which is okay, because I, I made it for her, and I want her to enjoy it. I just hope I see it again. That's the only problem with that, but that's just a selfish thing, because it was so cute. Oh, did I say what the doodle was? The doodle was hamburger on that day. And on this day, it was perfume. So perfume, hamburger, and then picture frame was Sunday. We went to church, and Katie came to church with us, and then we all went to McAllister's for lunch. We dropped off Hazel. I just have a lot on my mind, so I put a little sticker there. Um, Katie came over for a little while. I was able to grade some papers. We just had some leftovers for dinner, and we watched Gilmore Girls, and we actually went and did a Starbies run yesterday too on the way home from dropping off Hazel and that was fun. So that was my week. Um, it sounds uneventful, but like I said, we do have a lot in my head and a lot going on externally of my life, but people that I know and love's life. Um, so yeah, that's what is happening. I'm looking forward to seeing what this week brings. And I know that I did kind of a snowy theme for the week, but I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it isn't, it proves to be wrong and it's not a snowy week and that it actually turns out pretty nice. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. But you know, anything is okay. I know that everything changes and it'll all work out. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I'm going to try to remember to put some pictures on here. Talk to you soon. Bye.